Good morning, Briquettes. Astronomers are puzzled by a mysterious dead star. On August 14th of 2019, the International LIGO-Virgo collaboration, an array of antenna in the U.S. and Italy detected odd... Name. Yep. Well, LIGO is, uh, is uh, uh, an acronym, so it's even longer than that. Um, detected, an array of antenna in the U.S. and Italy detected odd gravitational waves. The readings indicated that an object with a mass 2.6 times that of the sun was gobbled up by a black hole 780 million years ago. That's a lot. That's strange, because very few objects with that mass should be able to exist. According to a paper in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, scientists aren't sure if the object was the heaviest neutron star ever detected or an extremely light black hole. <laughs> Physi yeah, physicists claim that neutron stars, the results of a giant star that has gone supernova and then collapses under its own gravity, can have a mass up to two and a half times that of the sun. This Whoa. object exceeded that limit. The That's lightest, big. yep, the lightest black hole ever measured was uh, the mass of about five times that of our sun. Really? The gap, Whoa. yeah, that gap between two and a half and five solar masses is the called the so-called mass gap. Mass gap. Yep. It's never been clear if cosmic objects with a mass in that range could exist. Really? And why this yep, and why this newly discovered body ekes in just over the lower end of the spectrum. Eking it. It's Eek. it is still baffling. Okay. Now that baffling. now that we're done with that news, Julie has a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. According to Julie herself, but don't worry, Mrs. Bear. This is the third time she's had a sore throat since the whole COVID thing started. So um, we'll give you updates on how she's doing, but I think she's probably going to be okay. Um, but she over exuberates a lot. Exaggerates. Yeah, she over exaggerates. I almost exaggerates. She over exaggerates a lot. Uh, hopefully, Julie will be feeling better really soon, but this gave her a built-in excuse to go up in bed and watch TV at 6.30, which is what she did. Um, so we'll up it, update you on that, how that progresses, if it does. Okay. okay. And for our second segment today, Jacob and Mrs. Bear had a meeting. Okay. Oh yeah, we did. And they decided the second segment was going to be in celebration of the announcement that Major League Baseball was going to be uh, attempting to restart the season at the end of July. So Jacob is going to go in the backyard and show you how close he is to becoming a major league pitcher himself. What do you think about that? Do you think he's close? No, I think he's horribly off. <laughs> but and you are any better? I'm a little bit better. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, we will do videotape to the pitching, and you did worse than Jacob. Jacob did better. Jacob at least got it in. I got it in one time, and I hit the target multiple times. Jacob barely hit the grass or the fence. He made it in one time. But we're ruining it for the viewers. Why are we talking about this? Uh, now they're not going to want to watch because they already know the outcome. Let's beep this part out. Okay. Beep! beep! All right, so let's go on to the next segment. Mrs. Bear, you want to introduce the next, the next segment? Is there going to be an intro? I don't know. Probably just a little bit of music. But let's call a it... A little bit of music with a zoom in on the hat? I don't know, but let's call but it... The, just so you know... You guys, did you guys like the intro from yesterday for the Lego thing? Who are you talking to, Mrs. Bear? The viewers. Well, what do you think they're gonna talk the to you? Wall. You think they're gonna talk to you through the TV screen or through their computer screens? I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't think they are. All right. But anyway, let's call the next segment "Take Me Out to the Backyard" with Take Jacob. Take me out to the backyard. All right. Let's go to the next segment. Get me some peanuts and apple jacks. Let's go, and we are going way too long, and we are annoying the Ohio fans. If you keep going, they'll stop watching. For it's one, two, three times they're annoyed until they stopped watching. Okay, let's go right now. All right.
attempt number one. Go, Jacob. Close. Not really. Close. Attempt number two. <laughs> Attempt number three. Hitting the fence pretty good. <laughs> Attempt number four. Where the target is? They can see the target. Yeah, but we can tell them to get inside. The, the hint is that's nowhere near where the balls are going. <laughs> Attempt number five. Close. I got it in. It bounced in. That doesn't count. It counts. Attempt number six. All we're doing is umpire going around. Ooh, Attempt number seven. Well, that's pretty impressive. He may not be able to hit the target, but he somehow, somehow can manage to do that. That's pretty impressive. I was like... Yeah, the umpire's still going crazy over there. Attempt number eight. Attempt number nine. Yeah, that was not good. Attempt number ten. The final. Attempt number ten. Now. Let's see if you can do For it. For the money ball, you get one attempt, and if you make it, I give you $5. Really? One attempt and one attempt only. Make it worth it. <laughs> one will die. You know I'm not going to get it. No. Why? Because you had one time only. Now you want to see me do it? Mm -hmm. But can I do it one more time for the money one? You can do it one more time, but it's not for money. This is for money. I got the other ball to fall yeah, down. You did. All right, now you want to see me try? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Five attempts for me. Is this mean I'm better at a pitcher than you? Because I can do it too. Now watch, I'm gonna hit that ball that's stuck in the fence. I'm gonna hit it with this ball and knock it out. You ready? That is Jacob's foray into the major leagues. Anything to say, Jacob? Can I have that money ball? Anything else to say? I'm so close to throwing this at it. Okay, that's it for today, but I have one more thing to say. Good morning, Broke Heddies! Good morning!